Today, we're going to talk about a topic that is a little edgy, and I'm excited to get really raw and vulnerable with you. Um, So today's topic is on unicorns and being a unicorn. Hey guys, and welcome to the Be Successful Podcast. I'm your host, Olivia. I'm an intuitive sex and intimacy guide, and I'm super excited to revive this podcast. So my first episode was June of 2022, so it's been almost two years. I've been deep in my healing and expansion portal, just focusing on my business and really navigating what is needed when it comes to sacred sexuality, spiritual intimacy, and all things sexual healing and expansion. So today we're going to talk about a topic that is a little edgy and I'm excited to get really raw and vulnerable with you. Um, So today's topic is on unicorns and being a unicorn. So if you haven't heard what this term means, it typically means that this is a third person joining a twosome, a relationship, and it's usually in the sexual sense. So usually they say that unicorns are so rare because it's hard to find, um, you know, a person that will be willing to join a already established couple um, in their dynamic. Um, so this is some a topic that is near and dear to my heart because actually when I started to sexually explore, this was really what I was the most curious about. And I'd say that definitely in Miami when I moved here, almost. I think it's almost been like seven years now. Um, that was really first when I started, you know, thinking about, okay, do I want to explore a threesome? And if so, what is the dynamic that I'm looking to experience? And I've really thought that, you know, couples were something that intrigued me. It was so something that I really wanted to explore more in the sense of I just love the idea of joining a couple that already had an established relationship that they had almost like this love bubble where I could join in and really experience and share something that they already had and something that they were also exploring. Um, so that was why that idea always enticed me. Um, also I think personally too, because, you know, I was never in a long-term committed relationship. I didn't really get to explore this. And for me, it was also perhaps a learning seeing, you know, what, you know, what type of relationship do I want? You know, how open do I want to be? You know, what feels good? What feels true to me? So yes, I would have to say that, yeah, one of my first experiences was, you know, going on Tinder and finding a couple that, you know, was interested in meeting me out for a drink um, and then pursuing things further. And what I can share is that this was also the first time probably that I was Um, intimate with women and you know the feminine energy so it was such a beautiful way for me to experience um, another woman another type of energy that maybe wasn't the traditional sense that I was used to and I would say at this time around you know six, seven years ago, I was deep into my sexual exploration where, you know, I left my home city of Chicago. I came to a city where I didn't really know anyone and I got to really explore this freedom of, you know, no one really knowing me and being able to be more free, uh, especially when it came to intimacy. Uh, You could say too is likely, you know, my traditional values, you know, growing up Catholic and really growing up with, you know, people that perhaps knew me in a city um, that was probably preventing me from fully exploring. Um, So really Miami gave me this this chance to do something new. It was really um, a way for me to step outside and, and, and explore, especially since I didn't get to explore as much in college. I would say I was definitely a little bit more reserved in college. Um, so yeah, so from that experience, um, I just remember it was so beautiful to be really safely held in a container. And luckily like the couple that I chose, um, that I got to experience this with, 
Um, I felt like they had really good communication. Um, they definitely had a deep connection. So it was just beautiful to witness, you know, them being intimate with each other and then bringing me in. Uh, I remember too, probably the most thrilling of that experience was that when they both uh, went down on me, right? This was me experiencing receiving pleasure from two people. And that was something, wow, I was like, I never thought that you could receive from two people. Now, granted, looking back, I think at that time, the level that I'm able to receive now with all the healing that I've done is way different. But honestly, for me, it was that first stepping stone to see, wow, like someone can really, um, you know, take the time to want to make you feel safe, want to make you feel comfortable. And I believe truly it was an experience of play where oftentimes when I was, um, let's say, you know, hooking up or going out and, you know, meeting guys, I wasn't, um, it wasn't so much play. It had a lot of attachment to, you know, what is this? What are we? What are, you know, what is he going to think of me? Um, so it was so beautiful to be detached from thinking that this is going to go further somewhere or that this needs to mean something more than the experience itself. Um, so that was, yeah, that was my first one. It was super special to me. Uh, and I just remember even, you know, after the fact, like the, the woman was just so caring about me. She was checking in afterwards and just making sure I was all right. And I was like, wow, you know, sometimes I would, you know, sleep with a guy and I wouldn't even get that level of, of care, you know, after afterwards. Um, so that was my very first experience. Um, and then I had a few more, but probably the one that I want to discuss um, that I had most recently that really opened up my eyes to what's possible in these dynamics of being in, um, in a container where you are adding to a relationship. Um, so recently... I had a beautiful encounter and experience with um, a couple that was also pretty well versed in energy work and in tantra and I got to experience what I call a sexual energy or energetic sex threesome which wow that was something that I was desiring perhaps probably for you know maybe a year or so and then I totally forgot about it I was like okay whatever like this may never happen it is what it is and I got to experience this beautiful beautiful exchange um and really just to sum up that experience it was a chance for me to also um, be very clear with what my boundaries were. Um, and it also was an experience where because there was less of the, you could say the physical sexual act, it was more energetic. It was, you can say a lot of sensational play, um, being, I was blindfolded in this experience. Um, there was some shibari, some rope tying, and it really just allowed me to fully release and receive from two people. Um, now within this space as well, like in my experience at one point, I really tapped into what I always call this like 5d sexuality space where within this realm of 5d sexuality, it's almost like this energy of sexual energy that is very healing. It's, it's, it's almost like it goes beyond the healing that you're even, um, capable of understanding in the moment but afterwards when you start to integrate um all these things come through around you know perhaps your inner child healing um maybe going back to certain memories rewriting the story rewriting the beliefs and the programming that you received and it really takes you and elevates you to this new perspective of seeing sex seeing relationships and i think the huge pivotal moment for me within that dynamic was I mean, at one point, I could literally feel both of um, the the couple's energy almost like working through me, for me, and around me. And it was almost like it was just this beautiful energy exchange of knowing that the intention was safety, the intention was pleasure, and you know there were check-ins to make sure you know during the experience how we're feeling, um, if everything's cool. So. It was such a 
safe container to be held in. And I mean, it was something that I really hope that if this is something that you're curious about, that you definitely put that desire out there and you get to experience because I started to rewrite, you know, what I believed even, you know, sexual energy exchange is, um, even this act of sex that maybe people think like, oh, like, you know, it's only sacred when it's between two people. And, you know, I, I really find that the more that I actually go into this work, the more that I have these beautiful and expansive experiences, I see that honestly, it, it's much more than that. It's actually this way of really seeing that that energy is yours and that you can choose what to do with it right you can choose if you want to share it with others you can choose if you want to keep it to yourself and that's something that i bring up is because within these dynamics uh, i know plenty of you know threesome dynamics that i hear of where you know you can just feel that maybe the partner is doing it just because their partner wants this you know they're not really in it and you know being intuitive, I, I do definitely feel when the intention isn't really on the same page. Um, so this was just a container that I felt like both partners wanted an experience. Of course, they knew that some things would come up. There would be some edges um, that they would navigate. But being the receiver in this dynamic was just so elevating. And even for me, it's almost like I could feel the healing that was taking space between them and between myself as well. And knowing that like me as that safe container, I also felt that there was like healing on the level of knowing that, hey, you can share these experiences where that third person or that unicorn isn't taking anything, that they don't have some ulterior motive that they want their partner or that they um, that there's like jealousy and all these other experiences. Now, of course, those feelings may still come up, but um, what's different is I think like when you are consciously going into these experiences, you're able to talk about them before. You know, you have check-in and communication during, and then you also have check-in and communication afterwards. So um, after that experience, um, you know, we just did a three-way hug and it was like a tantric three-way hug. And wow, it was just so powerful. It was so beautiful. And I would say definitely a big, big shift for me, a big expansion was that after that experience, I remember I was like, okay, well, how am I going to feel like when they're going to be cuddling afterwards and, you know, I'm single? Like, am I really going to feel like, oh, they just play with their toy and they're done with me? Um, I was just so curious to even put myself in that situation to see how would I handle it? Like, am I really at this level of, you know, confidence and of safety in myself to be able to ask for what I need or to be able to really just like self-soothe if something should come up? And granted, in this in this container, there was like support that if I really needed to, I could have asked for it. But what was so beautiful for me is like after that hug, I just felt so complete. And it was like this feeling of just feeling complete, feeling loved. And even if I saw them hugging, I would still be able to go into my own experience and not go into the stories of like, oh, like, will I ever find a partner like this? And you know, they have each other and like, I'm never going to have that. That would be definitely my old story. And so it, it's, it's, it was really for me such a leveling up when I was able to be so just like full after that experience. And that's something that I feel isn't talked a lot about is like this feeling of feeling complete post intimacy or post sexual experience. And I say this because I know myself, I was definitely in patterns where I would be intimate with someone and regardless of the dynamic of what it was, whether it was a one night stand or whether it was a partner that I was with and I was dating in a, in a committed relationship, there would be times where I wouldn't feel complete. And looking back on that, I know it's because there were things that I wasn't expressing. There were things that I was feeling and was afraid to express. Um, you could say probably that aspect of vulnerability, you know, I wasn't really able to maybe express it knowing that, Hey, I might cry, right. I may break down. Emotions may come up. And so I really think it was such 
a fascinating experience knowing that I feel like I reached to a level of knowing myself, knowing my body so well that I can go into any experience and know that I'll be able to handle it. And regardless of the outcome, regardless if my desires are met or if they're not, I know when to speak up. I know when to say stop. I know when to say go. And I definitely know also when to walk away if things, you know, aren't going um, or aren't, I should say, aren't feeling right or aren't feeling good in my body. So um, that recent experience of being the unicorn made me realize, you know, this is something that can be super rewarding, you know, not just for couples, but for the unicorn themselves. And it's something that I hope people will start to talk about more in these spaces of sacred sexuality um, as we begin to explore more of our sensuality, our sexuality, and see that, um, yeah, there is different relationships out there you know there are so many types of relationships and you know you can go to events and workshops and experiences and really connect in a way that you want to connect um so yeah so being this unicorn opened up my eyes and i think it's so funny too like if you could see my room i'm gonna just like show one of these but i have like literally four unicorns here's one <laughs> And I just find it funny because I never connected the dots that like this may be something that I'm talking about and that I'm sharing or that I'm expressing. But it's been near and dear to my heart uh, because I think there is so much value and so much expansion that can be experienced in these containers. So all that being said, I really hope that this perhaps open your perspective to something new when it comes to um, different relationship dynamics or this concept of being a unicorn. Um, I definitely want to hear from you about your experiences, anything that um, you would like to share, definitely message me, comment below. Um, I would love to hear it. And in the meantime, um, stay tuned for future episodes. I know this was a short one, uh, but there's definitely going to be more and you'll be hearing more juicy things on all things sacred sex, spiritual intimacy, and sexual healing. So yes, and if you'd like to connect with me, follow me on Instagram at Pretty Gypsy Dreams, on YouTube at Be Successful, and my website is BeSuccessful.com. And I also offer everyone a 15-minute intimacy tune-up session where I go in, I scan your body, and we shift any energy or beliefs that are blocking you from greater intimacy with yourself or your partnership. Um, so connect with me and I hope to hear from you soon.